to record it and then send it out, that would be it, wonderful. Everyone, watch your language. You're now recorded. Okay. Okay. Thank okay, you. So, so we're, going to, we're going to the main site right now. Log in. And this is your home screen. You're going to go, and, and there's a, um, in the spreadsheet I sent you, there's a link to a tutorial on this. So, you know, you can always ask me, but there's that help too. So you want to go to um, competitive and then team matches and create team match. Like I say, this link that I'm going to, that, that's going to be there for you guys goes through all this. I'm just walking you through one iteration of it. Okay, so we've got three things that we've got to fill out here. First of all is title. And I suggest you put something in the title like Raleigh zero to 500. I, it doesn't matter really. But if you put Raleigh zero to 500 in there, we can search the archives more easily. In the description, one thing that you're going to want to put is plus private. And what's, what this is going to do for you is it's not going to allow random people to jump in and flood if somebody, like, say, gets disconnected. It, it's not going to ping you with 100 people trying to get into that seat. Okay, so let, let's put private there. Uh, let's say that it's... The team names are uh, Getz, Corbin, whoever the team captains are, whatever. So we'll say that team one is Getz, team two is Corbin. Uh, so that one should be pretty self-explanatory. Let's go to options and talk about these. Form of scoring is pretty important. This is imps. Okay, It's, it's knockouts. It's what would Swiss team scoring would be. It's what you're going to face in any regional knockout or flight C, G, and T competition, it's imps. It's the form of scoring where like bidding your games and making your games is important. Over tricks isn't that important. It's, it's bridge, not, not pair scoring. Uh, number of boards. Uh, Rochelle asked the question, you know, how, how do we set this up? If you want to set, have to set up like two distinct matches, we're going to put 12 here. And then at the end of 12 boards, we'll figure out who's ahead and set up another match. So basically it'd be like two 12 board matches. If you want to just do one big chunk, you're gonna do 24 here. Okay. And we're gonna play a total of 24. A deal source, use random deals, that's fine. Options, I would definitely undo barometer scoring and the, Barometer scoring means that people would would know what has happened at the other table as the match goes on. And I I would suggest not doing that because it's just not realistic to what happens. But I mean, if if everybody agreed that they wanted to do that, I've got no problem with it. I would just suggest unclicking that option. Okay. Um, and it's kind of up to the team captains what they want to do about undos. My, my default thing is probably don't allow them. Probably unclick this. Yeah. Get a reserve seats. Do we have to have kibitzers? Why would we want kibitzers? You, you don't have to. Um, this will allow them. So like, you know, maybe a friend or me or whatever wants to come by and check out a few boards. This would allow us to watch, but oh, you certainly okay. can turn them off if you want. Okay. So let, let's say um, that it's gets against Corbin in the first round. And what I pulled up here is that uh, spreadsheet that I sent all you captains that has the BBO username for everyone. I don't know why Andy Dufresne is there. Okay, so Getz would put her four teammates' usernames 
in this upper box. So, you know, it would be, um, uh, let's see where your team's at. Okay, so it would be B. Gale playing with her partner who would be Eileen 108. So you would put the, the pair that's playing together opposite each other. And you would put your entire teammates in one box. Okay, so she's gonna put uh, Ken Howard and Leo Iking here. And if they were playing against Corbin, she would just fill in all the names for, you know, say that that Scott had, let me see. All right, so let's say that Scott was gonna play against he was going to play opposite Renee and Eileen. You would put them in the seats that are, like you would put them in the east-west seats. Does that make sense? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so, and maybe he's playing with uh, with Mike. And it's Wake M. Ross. Anyway, you would just look at, you know, on the roster, who you're playing against, figure out who's seated against who, and then just fill out these boxes. And, and like I say, when, when you coordinate with a, a different team and, and decide upon a time to play, let me know. And I will be logged on to BBO to help you with this stuff. Hey Lance, quick question. How do you decide who's going to sit north south? Do you have to share that information? Do you do, you know, do you just both sign up saying and then you don't know until you get there? Is you know, sort of like when you go to like a match, you don't always know who you're up against. Yeah. Um I, I would randomly assign it unless people want to be contentious about it, and then I would flip a coin. Okay. Got like, it. Literally, that's what I'd do. Okay. I, I think that's what would happen, like you know, at the Raleigh Regional if mm -hmm. teams were doing this number. Right. But but in the second- Lance, can I ask you a quick question? Yeah, just a sec. Um, if you're gonna do two 12 board halves, in the second half, the team that's down at the half definitely has uh, seating rights. Okay. They, they get to pick who they play against. Okay. Okay, yeah, uh, Scott, go. Actually, it was Mitch. Um, oh, Mitch, hi. The, I guess, in, Oh, were you on Scott first? Go ahead. No, he, no, I didn't have like a one of two male voices and I lost my coin flip. <laughs> the, uh, my, I guess my question is, does this work similar to others where one person will do this and then there'll be an invite going out or do they have to be done simultaneously? Uh, what? You mean like the the matches? Do they have to be simultaneous? Yeah, and when you're setting this up, it's nope. set up by one person, or is it? It's set up by one person. So, so one okay. captain is going to set up for both teams. That's right. If if Rochelle and Mitch are playing each other, one of you just says like, "Look, I'll set up the match at at ten when we agreed to play." Okay. Everyone's going to okay. be online. I'll send it out. Okay. Uh, something I haven't mentioned yet is like probably everyone wants to have a couple of subs lined up if possible, just in case something happens like someone loses internet connectivity or has an emergency or something like that. So I would, I would try and get that stuff lined up if possible. I'll leave that to the team captains to do. So you want the sub to be available on the day you have the match? I can be there to help you guys set it up and administrate and stuff. Um, I, like, I'm not going to have subs available and I can't play. Right. No, I understand that. So, um, like, we've asked a sub, but so that sub needs to be available when we have that match scheduled. I would have that person on call, yes. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Uh, what else, guys? Lance, you said everybody's got to be online when you're doing that reserve yeah. seats. Everybody should be online at that point in time. Yeah, I mean, if, if you... You're ready to play. Okay. Yeah, if, if, if you agree with Rochelle, you guys are team captains, 
and you agree to play your match at 10 o'clock on Saturday, I'd tell everyone to be online at 9.50. Okay. Um, so I, I have absolutely no way of predicting how hard this is going to be to coordinate times for the matches. I hope that a week gives you guys enough time, and I hope that people are cooperative enough that this doesn't cause a lot of friction. But I will throw out there, I, I said it in one email, maybe it's a good idea to have as a default either a Saturday morning time or a Monday evening time. Oh, here's, oh gosh, I hope she hasn't been sitting here for long. I don't know if that's helpful or not. Hi, Cindy. I, I'm sorry if you've been sitting there for a while. Trying to trying to manage too many things on my screen right now. But I mean, if if everybody like gets along and has a time, that's you know you don't need that suggestion. What else, guys? How long is it going to last? For example, we'll, we'll start like November 1st and it goes until December 31st, something like that. Yeah, I'm hoping to, if I give you guys a week for for each match, I'm hoping we'll have it done before like, you know, mid-December. Excellent, great. And, and some of that depends on like how much you guys hustle about getting stuff done. Because as soon as, I mean, if, if you play your match tomorrow and the next person in the bracket plays their match, I mean, you could conceivably get two matches done in three or four days. It's just, you know, be uh, somewhat sensitive to the fact that it, like, try not to stall because sometimes you're going to hold the whole bracket up if you do. And I think, I think a week is plenty of time for people. Does the whole bracket need to finish play before we go to the next round? Are they ranked or? Yeah. So like, some of the I don't know if you looked at the the spreadsheet but like certain matches are fed by other matches like the winner of this match goes to this spot and the winner of this match goes to that spot so sometimes there's going to be matches that are already set up and sometimes okay. there's going to be matches that are awaiting the result gotcha. of gotcha. something else right okay what else and you want us to set our first match by the 21st. Muted? Yep. I want you to have a, a yeah. an agreement with another team captain after we draw teams right now that is to, to play by next Wednesday. Uh, okay. What else, guys? Lance, I'm afraid I'm afraid that I, I just didn't get in. I, I followed the link in, at 6, and I, so I've missed the whole thing. So I don't know what to say. I think you um, were sitting there for a while, uh, and I, I just – didn't get to you. I'll, I'll do something with you afterwards. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we don't need to hold everybody up. That's yep. fine. I'll, I'll catch you up afterwards. Okay. What's the, what's the length? The time, Lance? Twenty-four boards? Is it how many minutes? It depends how good you guys are are at claiming. <laughs> <laughs> is it five minutes a board? No. I'm not going to set up something. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't. There's no. It time. doesn't have a time limit. Okay. Oh, great. Okay. So, All right. what okay. We, so what do we tell our teams to anticipate? Like about how long should a match take? <laughs> I mean, I don't. At least two hours, right? It, it, I, it, I don't it, think two and a half hours. So, but yeah. yeah. Two and a half. Yeah. I. That's what I would estimate. Okay. And it's. Gonna, I, I just want to make sure that I'm communicating the right information. It's, it's going to take a little bit longer if you guys want to do two 12-board segments versus two 24-board segments. Or I mean, one 24-board segment, sorry. The, the thing that's good if you set up all 24 boards at once, like, you know, you can play 10 boards and then take a break or whatever, type, look, I've got to go to the kitchen, I'll be back in five minutes. And you don't have to worry about the other table finishing. So, okay. whatever, it's all a trade-off. It, it's a little more realistic if you do two 12s, and it's probably a little more expedient if you don't. And we play each other only one time? Is that, so you the first? Could, you could potentially face somebody again. Okay. 
and it's double elim elimination. So you lose the first time, you're still all right. Second time, you're out. Lance, what about getting knocked out of BBO? Like you said, you could walk away for five minutes or something. Um, I mean, we've had situations where you kind of get knocked out if you leave a board up too long. Is that still happen? Uh, this isn't going to happen like it, it's not timed. So it's not like the RBC where there's going to be a clock. And if it runs mm -hmm. out, you move on to the next one and you don't get a result. The only potential problem we might have is if, if someone like loses connectivity due to a power outage or something like that, where they're going to be away from okay. the computer for an extended period of time. Okay. In that so case, we should be all right. Yeah, please just text me and we'll try and get a solution together. And this is where like having a sub on call would really help. What else we got? So in the identification, you mentioned about putting the qualifiers in there like private. I think in the instructions, it had some other qualifiers you could put in there too. Um, are you only recommending the private one? It, it does. The private one is, is the one I would recommend. Okay. Uh, you can get fancier than that, but I don't think it's necessary. Okay. What else? All right, let's draw some teams. Everybody ready for that? Do it. Sure. Yeah. Okay, so um, team nine is going to get a little bit of a bonus here. Since we have an odd number of teams, there's going to be one by. So whoever gets the nine gets a free pass into the second round, basically. All right. So, Patty, let's go with you first. I'm going to, I've got cards ace through nine in my hand, and I'm just going to deal, I'm, I'm going to draw one and show you what your team number is. And I'll update this information in the spreadsheet. You don't have to remember. And, and team captains, after tonight, I'm going to send you and the team captain you are matched up against a private email that says, please respond to this when you have a mutually agreed upon time. So you don't necessarily have to remember who you're playing. Anyway, Patty. Team seven. Let's do Brian next. Oh, the ace. He's the ace. He's one. <laughs> that free card still sitting out there. Nine. Uh, we'll go Cindy next. Is that the nine? That's the eight. It's the eight. Yeah. So Patty will be playing Cindy in the first round. We know that. Patty be Cindy, okay. Uh, let's go Renee next. Four. Rochelle. Six. Okay. Mitch. Two. Mitch will be playing Brian's team. Scott, you and Mike. Have the five. All right. We got a coin flip here for who gets the first buy. Becky, here's you. There's the buy. Oh, there's oh good. The <laughs> I'll take it. Which leaves Deanna with the three, which means she'll be playing Renee's team in the first round. Okay. I will populate all this stuff. And like I say, send an email to you guys. And, and then when you do have it coordinated with your team and with the other captain, let me know. I'm going to be around to help you guys. Just let me know if there's any problems. Don't, don't get upset if things aren't going right, whatever. Sound good? Yeah, sounds good. So you're going to send that email out tonight? I'm going to uh, probably tonight, yes. I'm going to send out four emails, one for each match. And you are to respond to that email to me when you have a time set up. Okay. So Lance, I did have a quick question. Yep. Um, and maybe someone asked this while I wasn't there. One of our subs asked this. Uh, are that without a, a director, there aren't points being assigned for these games, right? This is just for fun, for practice. This is for better than points. This is for the championship belt. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay yeah no, no points and 
And does it cost to play these games? Nope. Totally free. No. And, and again, like I'm making this stuff up. So it's possible there would be some sort of contention about a director call. If you have that sort of thing pop up, please text me and I will try to do my best to adjudicate it. But <laughs> we, we basically are on the honor system. And we have no directors. Okay. Okay. All right. What else? Plans. Yep. Is that? Can I ask a quick question? Yeah. Yes, it is. All right. Uh, you were, when in talking in talking about substitutes, uh, so if we get uh, substitutes, we'll basically ask them to uh, keep the time open that we agree to. If there's something that happens that we have to use them, then we contact you, or can we actually substitute them some way? You could actually just contact them and, and put them in the match. Okay. How would we fit them in? The person that sets up the match should actually get some sort of a user interface thing that says, so-and-so is gone. Do you want to substitute someone else in? Okay. But I'll be around. Okay. Shh. What else? All right, so I'm gonna hang out with Cindy for, we have nine minutes left on this uh, meeting. Anyone else is welcome to stay, but I'm gonna review what we talked about with her. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I think it's it's my fault, all right? Okay, well, so plus you recorded it too, right? Thanks to everyone for uh, for being a firstborn like me. I assume that's, that's probably what <laughs> made you be team captains. <laughs> So anyway, thanks for playing in this, and I will get the emails out tonight about setting up your first match. Okay, perfect. Thanks. Thank bye -bye. you. All right, thanks, guys. And Cindy, hang out. All Take the care. Bye-bye, okay. all. Bye -bye. Don't upgrade. Okay, so Cindy, uh, what, I, what I said was um, we drew for that. I, I just went through, like, how to set up the match. So if you are in charge of setting up the match, uh -huh. um, and we're going to go like from screen one through this. So when I log in, you will go to um, competitive. Competitive, OK. And then the next option you will choose is uh, team matches. It's right down here. Okay. You'll get a screen that looks like this, and the option at the bottom is create team match. Mm -hmm. And here's what I told people in the title please put something that will um, let us find it later on, like Raleigh zero to 500 is fine. Okay. Uh, Lance is evil. That's not <laughs> what it, something that'll let us find it later on. Okay. Title. In the description, I would suggest that you put this uh, plus private plus. Okay. And what's that? What that's going to do is, if somebody happens to drop from the match, it will keep you from being flooded with hundreds of requests from random people to right. jump in, which you, you don't want to deal with that. Right. Okay. So you, you can obviate that by putting plus private there. Okay. And then, you know, uh, you know, say you're setting this up and team one is Hinshaw, team two is Corbin, whatever. Okay. In the options, uh, you want to use random deals. Random deals, okay. You want to uh, have the form of scoring be imps. Imps, all right. It is up to the team captains, but I would suggest that you don't do barometer scoring. So no, you like that. Okay, and why is that? Uh, barometer scoring lets everyone know what the state of the match is as it's going on. Okay. Which isn't realistic. Okay. Like, 
in a in the real world yeah. setting, you're not going to know if you're down 30 or up 10 after you've played right. five boards. Okay. Yeah? That being said, if everybody in your match wants to play that way, I'm not going to stop you. Okay. Uh, allow undos. I would unclick that one too. Okay. But again, that's that's kind of up to the teams what they want to do. The important thing that we talked about is number of boards. So you're going to play. What, what about the kibitzers? I, I would go ahead and uh, let those be. Unless like you're, unless you don't want them for some reason. But if you if you leave those options clicked, it will allow me to watch. Oh, okay. Or yeah, who else would who else would be wanting to watch us? <laughs> probably, probably no one. Nobody. Okay. I, All I right. Don't, I don't think it's going to be like a privacy issue or anything. Okay. The important thing is the number of boards. Yeah, number of boards. So you play twenty four total, and I gave people two options. You could play all 24 at once. And in that case, you would you would hit 24 right there. Mm -hmm. And the upside of that is that you don't have to wait on the other table to finish a half. And all the boards are, are just there for you to, to do them as quickly as you can. The bad side of that is, again, from the realism standpoint, what would happen in a real match is you would play 12 boards and then the team that was behind would have the option to switch tables and then you'd play another 12 boards. So, so are we, are, are, so for instance, it's me and Karen and Marlon and May. So we have to all agree on the same time to play yeah. uh, Patty's team? Yes. All, okay, so all eight of us have to be playing at the same time. That's right. Okay. And, and this is why I suggested to people that there be like two kind of default times of Monday evening at seven or Saturday morning at 10 or 11. Okay. Or, uh, you know, the, I was just yeah. throwing out ideas. Okay. But people are going to have to give a little here, right? All right. I'm, I'm not sure I understand what you're saying, though, about the 12. If, if after 12, you said if after 12, somebody's losing, they could switch? What? Yeah, so I think it'll make more sense if we go to the next tab. Okay. okay. So to be clear, you can either set up two 12 board matches or one 24 board match. Okay. So let's do an example. Let's say that you are playing against Corbin. You would put all your teammates here. So you you are playing with whom, Karen? Karen Spivey. Okay, so you would put the two of you guys as usernames opposite each other. Mm -hmm. And then you would put your two teammates here who are Marlon and May. Yes. No, that makes it look like we're playing each other. That's not the case. Yeah, the whole team goes in the okay. top box. All right. Yeah, it's a little weird. Okay. And let's say that Team Corbin was who you're playing, and they are. Um, bah, 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 where are they? Okay, they are Slammer 009. And. Wicked Ross and Newbie One and Hannah Dawson. And you'd actually put Hannah Dawson and Newbie One together because they're partners. So that's how you would set up the first 12. Okay. Let's say you guys were up at the half. You're winning at the half. So the way we've got it set up here, you would have been playing newbie one and Hannah Dawson in the first half because you guys are sitting north, south, they're sitting east, west. Mm -hmm. It would be their option to change opponents. If they wanted to do that, you would change this to be HN Dawson, Slammer, oh, oh no. you would just change their orientation for the second half. So they would put it in the chat that we want to change? Yeah, I think or so. Or would they let us know? 
they, they would probably let you know. Uh, you also can chat to the tournament. Okay. Even after it's done, I think, and say, do you guys want to keep the same assignments or switch them? Okay. And, and another thing I told people, like, I'm going to be around to try and help you guys with this stuff. So whatever snags we run into, hopefully I'm going to be able to help you guys out. Okay. All right. And then once all this is set up, you just hit close. Uh, you would hit create team match. Oh. And what it's going to do is it's going to send out an invite to all eight people involved in the match. They're going to hit yes. And away we go. So all of us should show up, say, 15 minutes beforehand. Sure. So that, so that I can do all, I mean, the captain, I guess, is the, 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 the captain is going to set up what for all eight or just for her four, his or her four you, one of the captains is going to set up for all eight okay so i i would have so me and the other captain so for instance patty and i would have to communicate and let's say i i agree to set it all up and then i do that yep and then i and then i say create team match and off we go yep so about 15 minutes ahead you think